Okay, this is how we're going to set up port forwarding on a uh, Netgear WG614 router. The first thing we need to do is to log in. The default username is admin and the default password is password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. We then press OK and it takes us into the router. Now you, for security purposes, you should definitely make sure you change your username and password on your router. The username can stay admin but the password should be changed so we're going to scroll down the menu here. I'm going to click on port forwarding. Now, this is if we want to set up port forwarding to get on the Xbox, this is how you're going to do it. I'm going to assume that the Xbox is actually configured. Um, we're going to put it for address number 20. And we're going to go into a custom service and say add custom service. And that was under port forwarding here. And the name of this service here that we're going to add is going to be X. Let's call it BOX. And this is going to be a UDT, UDP TCP port. Now, the starting address for this port that we need to do is 3074. So type in 3074 and 3074 is the ending address. Like I said, we're going to set the Xbox up for port number 20. So the server address of your Xbox would be 192.168.1.20. would be the address that we're going to apply this to. And we're setting up a TCP UDP service. We're going to click on Apply, Single, Left Click. We're now going to add a second port. Go scroll down to Add Custom Service again. And this one here is going to be X box. We're going to call it U for UDP. And this particular one we're going to select in UDP and the port address is going to be 88. You're also going to ending port will be 88 and the server address is going to be the address whatever you assign that Xbox to. In our case we assigned it to 20. 192.168.1.20. You're then going to click on apply. You'll notice that we have two services here that are now going to be running. And the server IP address, that would be the physical address to your Xbox, whatever address it may be. So if it is a different address on your Netgear router, you simply click on the address here, go and click on Edit Service, and you can go in and change the address to what it needs to be. We're going to click on Apply, which will then take us back.